Hello my beautiful friends, welcome to a completely different setting than you're used to. I am currently in the Conservatorium Hotel and this is something different because we're going to do a Sunday session with Gabby Bernstein. You might know her from her latest book, The Universe Has Your Back. And she is here for the Spirit Business event and I'm going to ask her your questions. Okay. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, sweetie. Nice to meet you. Nice Do you like you. Amsterdam? Yes, it's amazing. It's truly amazing. Is it your I first time here? Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, yeah. Okay, that's why so you're good. so in love. I love it. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> On this YouTube channel, uh, I make videos for the mind, body and soul and I have this series called The Sunday Session where usually the viewers ask me all kinds of questions that are mind, body, soul related. And this time around, I thought it would be nice if the viewers ask you a question. Okay, cool. So it's just a random sort of collection of, of questions that awesome. they ask you. Great. All right. First question is from Natya from Mindful Bali. She says, your ego is driven from fear, but sometimes your intuition says something terrible, but it is the truth. In this way, I didn't see a terrible truth because I thought it was my ego, while it was actually my intuition. How do you know the difference between your ego and your intuition? Well, you can hear guidance from your intuition that may be alarming, but it's directive and it's putting you on a path that's positive. It's your ego when it's directing you in a way that may be uh, based on judging others or attacking or creating separation or feeling bad about yourself or creating and cultivating more fear. Mm -hmm. So you know that's the voice of your ego when it doesn't feel good and it feels fearful. Whereas your voice of your intuition is uh, it's inspiring, it's, in, it's, it's uh, a joyful often and it's, if it doesn't sound like necessarily uh, a positive thought, it's still directing you uh, when you know that it feels like a sense of knowing and a sense of certainty. So uh, y your ego is gonna typically have an agenda and try to control an outcome. Mm -hmm. And your, your inner guide is usually leading you towards what is of the highest good for all. But she says that her intuition was quite terrible with her advice, sort of. So I don't necessarily think that uh, when we have intuition that, that's, that doesn't sound good necessarily, mm. that can still be considered discernment. Like this, this is a situation that I may or may not want to do and I'm listening to my intuition and that's fine. It's just, is it leading you, if, if your ego is involved, if it's leading you to create more judgment, separation or attack. So if you're in a space of creating uh, fighting back or pushing against something that's being driven by the ego your intuition can say don't do that but send love yeah right there's yeah. a big difference this one is from Mandy from the mindful dream if you could go back in time and hang out with your younger self what would you tell her I tell her to have more fun <laughs> You didn't have a lot of fun? No, I, I wasn't having as much as, as much fun as I should. I was having fun with my career, but not my life. And now I'm having fun with my life, but it took a long time to get there. And what, what did it take? It, it took really changing a lot of my own personal belief systems about uh, myself, really. Yeah. And, and letting myself off the hook and uh, realizing that success is based on fun. This one is from Heimangini. What do you need to do when you struggle with panic attacks? So there's a beautiful meditation I can give you. Um, you can breathe in for four strokes through your nose and out one stroke through your mouth. So it's in two, three, four, through your nose and out one through your mouth. It's a Kundalini practice for anxiety. So breathing in for four, out for one, in for four, out for one is a beautiful practice of just uh, getting back to your breath and uh, when you're in a panic attack, you're not breathing. So your breath is the fastest way back. So when you're in the panic attack, you should do that. And then mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. coming back to the breathing. Wow, mm -hmm. good advice. Hannah asked, how do you see decision-making working for it versus moving on in love relationships? How do you know if you're meant to be with someone or not? Well, I believe that you're meant to stay with somebody as long as you're still growing. And when the growth in the relationship subsides, then it's time to move on. So you may not be with someone that's your long-term partner, but you have a little bit more time together because there's more to learn yeah. about yourself, about them, and more growth. And these relationships that we have, particularly romantic relationships, are for growth, they're for healing. Yeah. This one is from Maroli. 
What is your daily routine for work, meditation, food and exercise? How do you organize your days? Well, I try to move in some way every day. So whether it's going to the gym or walking for 10,000 steps or, or doing a little yoga, I move in some way every single day. And so that's, that's a commitment. Uh, I meditate every day, that's a commitment. I don't eat sugar, which is another daily commitment. I don't drink alcohol, which is a daily commitment. So there's specific things that are non-negotiable for mm -hmm. me in my mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Um, but I, I may not be able to go run a mile, you know, run three miles every day, but maybe I can walk three miles. So yeah. it's like doing something that um, I'm having some kind of physical activity every single day. And creating those rules creates freedom in a way, yes, right? Yes, yes, yeah. totally. But is the, the commitment like meditation, do you do that immediately after waking up? Or Yes, in the morning, first yeah. thing in the morning, and then usually in the afternoon as well. And moving, do you do that also after waking up? Uh, no, that sort of depends on the schedule of my day, but yeah. I will always build in some kind of physical movement or Pilates or yoga or something so that my body is feeling energized because that's pretty impressive if you travel that much, right? Yeah, so while I'm here, I've been walking a lot. Yeah. You know, yesterday I walked 13,000 steps. Ah, in steps. the city, of yeah. course. The last question is for me. You just talked about that you're really on a mission. What is your mission? The mission is to wake up as many people to the presence of spirit and connection to a higher power of their own understanding so that as we wake up, we wake up other people, we become kinder, we become more generous, we become more supportive, and we serve this world that needs us most right now. Nice. <laughs> I think you're doing a great job. Thank you, my love. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> this woman has such a clear mind, it's crazy. Her one-liners just, she knows her stuff, right? I got an enormous goodie bag, so let's see what's in it. It is so warm today, so much warmer than I thought. I think a boat is passing by. Okay, let's see what's in the goodie bag. First and foremost, the universe has your back. Is it the English one? Oh, that's nice. I already listened to her book. I uh, truly love this book. I also think if you listen to books like these, you're sort of in a constant state of mindfulness and meditation practice somehow and I think it is truly worthwhile to listen or to read this book. Absolutely. Then, what is this? Are you the next unicorn? <laughs> it's cards, okay? They give you power and energy on the moments you truly need it. These are made by Simone Levy. Which one do I feel? Be the goddess in you. Nice, I like it. These are also cards with questions in which you can discover the message of your intuition. I like it. Maybe I can make a video with these cards one day. Would you guys like that? Oh wow, all kinds of beautiful cards. So the first one, you are a star. I think you can really give this as a little sort of go-getter card for maybe your friends. Uh, who want to create their own business maybe and yeah to give them a little bit of a support That's something that I really noticed just now that uh, we were all women Entrepreneuring ourselves creating ourselves and I think what we all feel a lot of us feel at least is to support each other Instead of having the Queen Bee syndrome. Wow you rock keep on going. I love that planner, okay, okay so it's not only a planner in the way that you can write down what you need to do, but it also has little manifestations, quotes, how the planets are standing and what it can do to you. This is really cool. What is this? Whoa. Dream goal year planner and the new Marie Claire. I'm saying that very French because I just went to France. <laughs> The new Marie Claire. There's an interview with Gabby in it. Whoa, really nice goodie bag, guys. All kinds of mindful, mind style kind of goodies. So I hope you liked this Sunday session. It was a little bit different than what we're used to. Yeah, I love to do it like this as well. And I love to ask Gabby your questions. I hope that you can now also sort of feel that we are a community. I'm not the only one talking to you because your questions just ended up in the Q&A that I had with her. If you don't wanna miss out on submitting your questions for the next Sunday session, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm also called Professional Wild Child over there. All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Keep letting love rule. Bye. All right, okay, perfect. Well, thank you, love. Now I'm gonna go pee. Yeah, of course, <laughs> go for it. <laughs>